This is very interesting a uh, story. It comes out of the Hebrew people. That's called uh, uh, it's in the Yiddish language. It's called Dibuk, and uh, they have a box, and uh, it has a spirit in this box. See, a spirit is a a thing that gets in this box, and they give its own possessions. They give it its candle and its its little items in there, and it. This, and when they open this thing, this spirit comes out of this box. They made a, a movie out of it called The Possession. And it's a very interesting story of the, um, the book, and if I'm pronouncing it right, it's a spirit. And it's, it, it interested me because of what God has taught me through the years. And when I watched this uh, thing, we're studying it, and I was watching how they had it on science fiction, they had it on a, a movie, they've got it on YouTube and different places now. And this spirit, it can get out in a building and cause all kind of havoc, all kind of troubles and everything. Now, as I was thinking about that, I said, isn't that strange? People will believe a spirit gets in this box. And this is basically what they do. I've seen people cast out devils and they'll turn a, a glass of water up on a plate and put it on top of a person's head and hit the water, and the spirit comes out of the person and goes in, into the water glass. And so they have all kinds of spiritual, paranormal type of reasoning when it comes to spiritual things. Now I want to reveal something to you as I was studying about spirits. This is where life is, is in the spirit. Our father's a spirit. And the, the woman at the well was telling Jesus, we're supposed to worship God in Jerusalem. And he said, woman, I tell you, now, it, to, now is. He said, we worship God in the Spirit, and not in these mountains or in Jerusalem. We worship God in the Spirit. But you see, they always worshiped God in the temple. They had God in the temple. They still go to the wailing wall. God was in the temple in Jerusalem. And every, all nations under the earth would come there because God was in that temple. And then they, they put God in the Spirit on the day of Pentecost, but still, people want God trapped in some place like this D book. They trap this spirit in this box. He got him in a box, you see. And that's the way they've done throughout the years. I've seen old country preachers uh, put devils in paper bags. And then they bury the paper bag. You know, they do, they do all kinds of things with spirits. And this is where life begins is with our spiritual creator. God is a spirit. So people are handling real strange. Now, watch this, how I do this. And this is the same thing they do with the de book, the possession, or everything. Now, take this right here and look at that. What does that say? Holy Bible. Now, what happened to the temple of God? The temple of God was tore down. So now, what do they do with this uh, box here, with this temple here? It's like a de book. And they put God in this book. See, this now is the temple of God. It said, Satan would sit in the temple of God as he is God. So this is the word of God. And so Satan sits in this book. Now watch when I open it. Watch how your eyes will open. See, Joel Osteen or Jesse DePlantis or Kenneth Copeland, some of them say, open this book. Now it's like opening a, a de book. It lets a spirit out. And you say, oh, my. That is the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. See, you can get saved with this book. This book has life in it. You put this book up on your chest, and when people's casting out devils in the old days, they said, put your Bible on your chest so the devil can't enter you. See, this is the inerrant, infallible, living Word of God. So now God is trapped in this book. God is in this book. They book. See, and you have God in this book. And all great men, Billy Graham, Oral Roberts, all the great preachers, Billy Sunday, uh, William Brown, all of them had the book. The book. They got God in the book. And this book is the temple of God now. And so you can get saved. How does faith come? It comes by reading this book. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This is in this book. And this is the temple of God. You can be saved. This is inspired. This is holy. This is God's word. 
This is the book. God is trapped in this now. He's not in the temple in Jerusalem. It's been torn down. And he's uh, not in this box. This the book. It's, that's another spirit in that box. But in this box is God. This is God. Isn't it? They say, I read that. I was in prison. And I read this book. And I got saved. Oh, I got saved. God was in this book. This is God's word. Oh, this is God's word. Satan sits in this temple now. And it said, the Bible says, the Bible says, they make this talk. The Bible says, the Bible says, that's how. So now, how am I going to get you out of the book and into the spirit? So I'm an iconoclast. I destroy idols. So I say, Satan, I cast you out of this book. I'm casting you out in the name of Jesus Christ. God is not in this book. And people start crying, my God is in that book. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And on the day of Pentecost, they poured out Bibles on 120. Peter and John went down to Samaria and laid hands on them, and they gave them Bibles. Peter went to Cornelius' house, and while he was speaking, Bibles fell upon people. Paul said, have you received the Bible? Since you believe. See, you got God in a book. This is the temple of God. And Satan sits in this temple. And he speaks to you from this temple. This is your word of God. He speaks to you out of this temple. And you say, oh my. Faith comes by hearing this word. I have faith because God spoke to me from this book. See, God didn't pour out the Spirit on everybody. He don't live in me. I'm not the temple of God, right? We're not the temple of God. The temple of God is this book. See, I've had people tell me, God speaks to me from the Bible. God speaks to me from the Bible. I said, He speaks to me by the Holy Ghost and He lives inside me. No, He's in here. He's in here. I believe He's in here. Brother, I don't believe He's in you, Harlan. He's in this. He's in this. I said, now what's God in this or in this? Okay. Now I say, this is an idol. This is the mark of the beast. And this is Satan's temple. And Satan hates me because I've been destroying his temple. You see what I mean? But now, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Satan shall sit in the temple of God as he is God, having the word of God, speaking the word of God. And you can be saved by this, you can be healed by this, by his stripes I'm healed. Everything, you have everything. There's churches on every corner, they can open up this Bible and you say, oh, that's the word of God. Joel Osteen said, now let's open our Bibles and thousands and millions of you will open your Bible. And what comes out? God and God's Word. This is the temple of God today. You've put God in this. You put God in this instead of in this. And this is the truth, just like the book. He's got a spirit in a box. A spirit in a box. It comes from an old Jewish tradition. And it takes a religious right to get it out of there. So now how am I going to get this out of here, you see? And this really, dis this really disturbs people. Look here, it says it's holy. It says it's the Word of God. Now watch me. Oh! 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 Look at that. Look, it says holy. 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 Oh! 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 I destroyed your... Your temple. I tore down your temple. Look at there. It still says Holy, Holy Bible. And this is your temple, see? Faith comes by hearing and hearing this book. This is the inspired, holy Word of God. See? And so I'm an iconoclast and I destroy idols. This is an idol, you see. And so, this is holy, inspired, inerrant, infallible, living Word of the living God. So I take these de books, this Jewish tradition, I open the box, and I run that spirit into the bottomless pit. And that's what I'm doing with your spirit, you see. Thousands of people now, after they've heard that God sent me to tear down this temple that Satan sits in as he is God, and that this is the Word of God, thousands of them now are starting to say, I'm tearing up my Bible. I'm not being controlled by the book, by... Uh, a spirit of Satan sitting in the temple of God. You've made the Bible the temple of God. And Satan speaks from it. 
And faith don't come by hearing a book. You no man can come to Jesus Christ except the Spirit of God draws him. No man can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost, you see. This says Holy Bible. Who made it a Holy Bible? Did Jesus make it the Holy Bible? He said, I'm going to live in you and walk in you. Who made it a Holy Bible? You think of maybe uh, King James or Constantine might have made it the Holy Bible. So they put God in a book. That's what they've done. They put God in a book. And now I have to deliver you by showing you that it don't have no power. If it had any power, God would be getting me right now instead of blessing me. So you see, this the book here, this spirit that lives in that box, and you give him all your tithes, you give him all the things that he needs to live, you give him big churches and all things to live. So don't let the Bible be the temple of the living God. Let your body be the temple of the living God, and you can live. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I destroy the temple of Satan that he lives in. God, our bodies is the temple. Gracias, Señor, por su poder. En el nombre de Jesús Cristo.